All right, welcome back you guys. Today's video is my Coach Parker collection. One of my very favorite styles from Coach. Before I get started, I wanna wish every beautiful mama out there a happy Mother's Day. Today is Sunday and it's Mother's Day and it's just, Mother's Day is just so special and precious to me. Your role is the most important role in a child's life and you will shape your child. You have power to shape a child's view on life. You have the power to give hope and you have power to restore. You have power to heal with your beautiful, loving words. And so many of us, you know, I didn't realize the importance of being a mother till I had my own children. And so it's a very special day. Second, I wanted to thank my beautiful husband. He always goes out of his way. <laughs> you know, with beautiful, you know, flower arrangements every year. This year he actually got me a box delivery, which is, you know, you get your delivery of boxes through a shipping company, which <laughs> as ironic as that sounds, you know, being in the business I am, I deliver that stuff. I deliver, you know, all things. And this is the first time in my life ever, I've actually gotten a delivery of box flowers, which was, <laughs> Just so adorable and I love it. You know, next Mother's Day, I'll probably be delivering <laughs> and not receiving a box because I can't deliver box, you know, a box of flowers to myself. But anyways, you know, he made this year extra special for me. You know, this also was our 17 year anniversary. He is the greatest blessing. He is one of the greatest ways the Lord showed me how much he loved me by, you know, blessing me with my wonderful husband. We've been together for 17 years marriage <laughs> official marriage but you know we both started uh dating in high school so four years of high school so technically we've been together for 21 years but you know not a day where we separated the only time we were separated was you know when i was in the hospital with my sister when she passed away but you know my husband and i you know it's really such a blessing to to be able to find that someone that you connect with on every level that loves you through the bad, through the ugly, you know, he puts up with me like, <laughs> I can be as a real spoiled brat sometimes. I, you know, he just, you know, <laughs> I can be difficult <laughs> at times, you know? I'm just so thankful because my heavenly father showed me how much he loved me. As a little girl, I would pray for my future husband and all I ever wanted was, please give me a husband that loves me. That's all I want. I didn't want a rich husband. I didn't want a husband in power. I wanted a husband that truly loved me for me with my flaws and everything. Like I wanted my husband to love me because I growing up my, you know, my, I never saw that in my own father. There was no love there for my mother, even though my, you know, my parents are still together, but that love was never there. And it just broke my heart as a little child to see, to not have love in a, in a family, how, how it just, it breaks a child's heart when their parents don't love each other because that child is a combination of both parents. So the, to the child, the mother and the father matter so much. So I didn't have that growing up. So my, as a prayer, you know, I would pray, Lord, give me a loving husband. And he did. I met my husband when we were 16. And I, he just, even though I'm growing old and wrinkly, he still dotes over me like nothing else. It made me the most happiest, happiest girl in the world. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. And when I'd pray, I'd be like, Lord, give me a husband that loves me. And, and tall, black hair and blue eyes. And that's how I know he's the one. And literally, <laughs> when I met my husband, he was tall, black hair, and blue eyes, which is a rare combination in my Romanian culture. But here I am rambling and going on, and you're probably wondering <laughs> what's in the box. So <laughs> well, anyways, for our 17th year anniversary, my beautiful husband upgraded my diamond band because I did have this diamond band here and one of the diamonds is loose and it literally is gonna cost me a hundred dollars to secure the diamond. So I haven't wore this in a while. So my husband decided to surprise me with a bigger wedding band, a sturdier one. So 
So yes, I was so ecstatic and so excited because now I have like a tree. It came in a blue bag and then just a cardboard box, but packaging is, you know, you're not, I'm not gonna tote around the packaging. So that is the certification. Uh, it is 99.99 carats, which is basically a carat. And it is appraised at 1740, but, uh, he did get it for um they had three uh they had three designs i picked the five stone so a diamond for each of us they had the five stone they had a seven stone and a 14 stone all uh equaling at one carat each so it really depended on what design you liked i liked this design the most because any more diamonds you know get covered by the fingers so what you know i figured what you see on top is what's necessary there. They have other bands that go all the way around, but the bottom gets scratched up so much, you know, I'm kind of rough sometimes. So I figured this one right here was the perfect, sweetest surprise, you know, just absolutely so sweet. You know, he's like, Hey, let's get up and go. First we went to Costco, then we went to Sam's and this is the one that I fell in love with. So I'm very excited and so thankful to my sweet, wonderful husband. I love you, babe, so much. Okay. Now, <laughs> on to my Coach Parker collection. The reason I am doing this video. <laughs> All right, you guys, of my seven Coach Parkers, let me know which one is your favorite out of all the seven because everyone's so different and everyone has different styles and personalities and a back can really show <laughs> what type of person you are and or if you're more casual, more dressy. So. Out of my seven, let me know which one is your favorite and I will let you know which one was mine. I will start from the oldest to the newest. My first ever Parker that I absolutely fell in love with is the glove tan leather. They came out with this a couple years back and the Parker line has been one of the most continued lines from Coach. They continue to come out and reinvent the Parker season after season and it's just so awesome that you know it's got that beautiful chanel vibe at an affordable price i'm a type of person that i i purchase and i shop things within reason i can't imagine you know buying a bag that's the prices that some of these designers are asking i just that's just not me and it never will be because i I try to stay grounded as much as I can. But this beautiful Parker has a beautiful back a slip pocket, a no feet. None of the Parkers have any feet. And the beautiful flap turn lock C closure style is so popular and so will always be in style. My favorite thing, of course, is the versatility of this beautiful chain right here. This versatility, the chain is so classic and very Chanel-esque, but at a beautiful and affordable price. And I will continue to invest in affordable designers like Coach. And there's so many other designers that have similar designs. But I love this one. This one was my very first Coach Parker ever. And this is the glove tan leather. I take care of all of my bags. I keep them in their dust bags. And if they do uh, get scratched up, I use the shoe leather lotion. It is water-based. I recommend you using the Coach Cleaner, of course, for every designer has their own cleaning products. But I just, I've had that for a while. and. It's worked out well. So when that runs out, I probably will get some Coach Cleaner. But I love this Coach Parker. I've had this one the absolute longest. And the condition of the glove tan leather has really, over the years, I've conditioned, you know, the scratches and stuff like that. And it's still such beautiful condition. Even here, at the, you know, at the crease, it's still, it's still very beautiful looking. It doesn't look raggedy or torn up. Of course, you know, how the how you take care of your bags matters a lot. You know, how you rotate them, etc. You know, if you're going to wear the same t-shirt for a year straight, of course, it's going to have holes and stains in it. So, 
you know, I try and take very good care of my bags. All right, moving on. Is my next one is the Patton Parker, and look, oh, look at the shine on this beauty. She is a beautiful Patton. It's the cross grain leather, patent leather all around the bag, slip pocket, the same setup. All of the Parkers basically have the same setup, at least the shoulder bag styles. And of course the beautiful turn lock closure. This one is a little bit stiffer. The turn lock is a bit stiffer, but I might take that into coach to get fixed. And of course this ox blooded interior. I think most of the black um, Parkers have the uh, ox blood interior, but I absolutely love this one. This is my one of my fancier ones, and I, I just love black is one of my favorites, so you will see a repeat of black Parkers because that's my favorite. My next one after that, this is my, I call her my blue jean girl because this beautiful soft Parker has got, you know, a beautiful color block set up, a peacock multi and uh, has the vintage mauve on the front, all the way to the back, to the bottom. Then it has ox blood on the front, then the peacock color right on the flap, and it is in all pebbled leather. And of course the beautiful lining, I think it's my favorite, the cadet blue, and of course the same setup. These definitely hold a lot more. These are more on the casual side, the binding, adds such a casualness to it and the leather also you know i've always thought that pebble leather was definitely more on the casual side uh, it gives it definitely casual vibes but the binding that's what it's one of my favorite things on this gorgeous gorgeous bag so i absolutely love this i love to wear this with blue jeans etc yes my next parker is my top handle Parker. This is the uh, smaller size. They do have a bigger size. It is on my wish list. So hopefully I will be able to, you know, find one at a blessed price. Of course, it comes with a beautiful crossbody and shoulder strap, a back slip pocket, and a beautiful top handle that is so ladylike and so chic. Just, oh, I want more of these. This is right up my alley. This screams my style. And on the inside, this is considered a deep red and is a deep red almost on the maroon side. And it has the beautiful blood interior, uh, one outside slip pocket, and then one main compartment and a back zipper. It holds a little less than the regular shoulder bag Parker. It, it still holds the essentials and more. So definitely a piece I wanted to add and so happy I did add. And moving on. Okay, next this is the beautiful quilted Parker in the Napa leather with the beautiful rivets all throughout the bag. The newest one that they have is in the pewter, which is more of a matte black hardware. This is gunmetal, so it's definitely shinier. And the rivets are a little more spread out. The newer Parker has more rivets but i absolutely love this i was able to get it at a you know a discounted price all of my parkers and i have not paid full price for any of my parkers i've gotten them all off at least at 70 percent off but this beautiful parker parker has a back slip pocket same thing on the bottom i wish this had feet but that's okay but i like that they at least reinforced the bottom they reinforced the bottom and they did add some protection and of course, on the inside, the beautiful ox blood. Very beautiful. And I love the gunmetal because, you know, it kind of, the beautiful leather braid, the beautiful leather chain stands out a little bit more. It, it does, the gunmetal does have a pop that I absolutely love. Still haven't taken it out because we've got nowhere to go for now. <laughs> but till things calm down anyway. But I absolutely love this Napa leather, black gunmetal Parker. Okay, and then moving on. Next is the beautiful soft Parker, all black in the pewter color. Now, I mentioned earlier, this, this one is in gunmetal. 
and this one is in pewter. So you can see the difference between the two. Pewter is definitely more matte. The gunmetal is definitely a more mirror black shine. It's really beautiful. I love each one. It would be hard to choose which metal I like more, but I'm gonna say that each bag has the perfect bag has the perfect color of hardware for you know for its design. Like this to me would be is perfect with pewter. I can't imagine it with gunmetal, but you never know. <laughs> it could be a pretty good combination. And of course, the beautiful binding. I mentioned earlier that the pebbled leather has such a casual vibe. And the glove tan leather has got a more structured, uh, dressy vibe. They're both beautiful, but I love them for, you know, for, you know, the design they are. Like this one, is, I love it for the casualness of it. This can be casual and dressy, but it is, the glove tan leather has a certain factor. I just, even though it's more prone to scratches because it's such a delicate and stiffer leather, I, it still has such an, a ladylike chicness to it that I just, I cannot resist. I just, I just cannot resist it. So this right here is definitely a beautiful, casual, gorgeous bag that, and you, of course you can dress it up, but I just, I absolutely love the Parker line. I love the Parker line. And my newest purchase, but oldest, when it comes in terms of, uh, when it comes to the terms and years they were made, because this was made in 2009. But oh my goodness, I, oh, I love the oversized silver uh, chain detail, the beautiful leather, by, uh, leather strips in between this beautiful chain it, oh absolutely i absolutely love this so many older designs from coach or just are just so well made and so beautiful this gorgeous parker is what i feel like it's made out of is the napa leather because it is so soft it's definitely softer than calf leather it's definitely not glove tan leather to me this is definitely i feel like i don't know exactly what it's made of based on what it feels like it feels like napa leather so it has two outside zippered compartments, which this bag surprisingly holds absolutely so much. It just, it holds so much. And my favorite feature, of course, is the kiss lock frame style. That's just right up my alley. I did take off the hang tag because it kind of got in the way and it was just, it's just a little too oversized for the bag, if that makes any sense. But it's got a big giant compartment on the inside. And it just, it really holds so much. And it's just absolutely so yummy and delicious. The leather biker jacket vibe with the zippers and, and the silver hardware. It just it has such an edge to it. I just, I absolutely Love this, and I'm so happy to find it in excellent condition. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this Coach Parker collection of mine. And of course, you guys guessed it, out of my seven, this beautiful Napa Leather Parker, Parker in the Napa Leather is my absolute favorite. She is my favorite because she is a beautiful quilted style. She is as close as you can get to Chanel, the best alternative out there for me. Many designers from different fashion houses have similar designs, but I absolutely love Coach. This Coach design is my absolute, the Parker line is my absolute favorite. And I think it's for me, for my taste, is definitely the most, as close as I can get because I'm not gonna spend the kind of money some of these designers are asking because I'm sorry. Mm, yeah. I like things within reason. Even these Coach Parkers of mine, not one that I pay full price for. I purchased it 7% off because at the end of the day, it's just a, a handbag. To me, handbags are not investment pieces because styles continuously change and evolve season by season. The season is literally like three or four months and then out comes the new designs and you know, your bag is old, considered old, but there's, you know, there's a, you know, it's still a classic style. So things can be classic, but still with time, time and age will erode anything. So 
I don't see them as investment pieces. So therefore I just treat them as what they are. Just, you know, a simple handbag, you know, it's, you know, a simple, beautiful handbag, you know, and it's an alternative to, you know, higher end designers. So I'm thankful that, you know, coach has the parking lot and they keep coming back with this parking lot over and over. And I'm so happy that they continue to evolve the park line because i absolutely love it all right you guys thank you again and i hope everyone's having a beautiful and blessed day i hope you guys continue to have a beautiful and blessed rest of the week and as always you guys i will see you in the next video